And welcome into another edition of the Statesman Insider right here on WXVT. Jimmy Smith with you once again. And here's Sandra Rushing, ready to talk some Lady States of Basketball. Coach, uh, I, don't, I don't know how you feel about saying we're undefeated, we're having a great year, but you're undefeated, you're having a great year. Uh, most recently you took down Washington Baptist, you went to their place, uh, they had a little vengeance in their blood, you did too, and you came out better, 11 points better to be exact. You're undefeated, and we ask this question all the time because you continue to be undefeated. How are you approaching the undefeated season as we head into conference play full, full, full bore? Well, you know, we talk about any given night that you can get beat. And uh, everybody's going to bring their A game against us. And we know that we've got to go in and we've got to prepare for every team. And, you know, I'm very happy with our defense and where this team is. And, and you know, that they're working extremely hard. They're proud of what they've accomplished. But we still have a long season ahead of us. And, and you know, they're not going to let up. I mean, we're going to continue to work hard. I'm going to continue to push them. And, uh, you know, we've got a goal and we want to reach that goal. We'll look back before we look forward. Of course, we're going to talk about the upcoming games. Arkansas Monticello in the first home game against CBU. That's this Saturday, uh, which would have been yesterday if you're watching the show. But we're filming this on Wednesday because of the road trip. So we'll talk back about Watchdog Baptist. And you got your first player of the week finally. After Veronica Walker had stellar week after week after week after week, she finally got the nod for GSC Player of the Week. And you mentioned to me right before taping that she may be the first player above 15 points a game. She's averaging 18 points a game that you've ever had. It's been a while that we've had somebody averaging, you know, above 15. It's usually 10 or 12. And, you know, Sh uh, Shamika Russell's averaging, uh, I think, 12 points right now. But, you know, and that's great. And we talked about this as a team yesterday uh, when Burr got uh, – player of the week, somebody's delivering the basketball to her. Yes. And that's Bud Cooper. And, and the rest of the guards, don't get me wrong, Jessica Collins. And, you know, appreciate that. You know, give credit to your teammates. And they do because, you know, they wouldn't be getting the basketball and being able to score if, if it wasn't being delivered. Right. She's getting the ball on the block. Yes. Uh, and, and the passes from Bud Cooper aren't, aren't not art. They are, they are artful, I guess, <laughs> if I'm going to start coming up with words. The way she can find mm -hmm. holes out, out of nowhere to put a basketball – and, and they really are on some sort of different frequency from anybody else on the court. Well, they've played together for so long, too, uh, you know, since elementary school. And they do a great job of reading each other. And, and they're fun to watch. And, yes. you know, they really, I mean, they'll get on to each other. If Burr misses a pass, then Bug's going to, you know, get on to her. And then it's just really, it's funny to watch. But they don't take anything personal. And I think, that, I think that's the key to, to their success because they want each other to succeed. Now, Bug Cooper is about uh, a little above seven assists a game, almost to that eight mark, and she's on pace. I think she's about 54 assists away right. from breaking Delta State's all-time modern era mark. That is, uh, of course, before the AIAA, did I do that right? AIIA, mm -hmm. the post, the modern record, the, the record of all time at Delta State is a, a thousand plus, right. and that may never get to, to be touched, but... Bug Cooper is on pace to break the modern day record, and she still has another year to go. Uh, what is the more scary stat for her? Is it her almost eight points a game, almost eight assists a game, or her almost five rebounds a game? Well, she, that tells you right there how, you know, she's a well rounded player. And, uh, you know, she's a great passer, and she finds a way to maneuver to get inside to get the rebound. And the one thing, if I had to say about Bug, that I would like to see improved is a free throw percentage. And, uh, you know, and we've talked about that. And, and you know, she can, she can shoot a free throw. It's just, you know, her percentage is not very good right now. And, and I think that needs to come up. She is 8 of 14. That's 57%. Yeah. What do you think you can attribute to that? Is, is she trying too hard to get to the basket? Is, is, I mean, free throws, when you get to the line, you get to the line, you have a chance to think about what you're going to do. What do you think is, is an, you can attribute to her low percentage? Well, I think any free, throw, any free throw shooter, when you step up to the line, it's mental. It is absolutely mental. Like you said, you have time to think about it. You know, that's the only time on the floor you're not guarded. So, you, you know, take right. a deep breath and, and relax. And I tell them all the time, let's shoot it, not wish it in. You know, don't, don't wish it in. And, uh, you know, stay with your shot. Keep both hands up. And, you know, just get the pressure off of you. We'll talk about CBU and Arkansas Monticello in the next segment. I want to talk to you about this real quick. I was at the scorer's table calling the basketball game. Latter half of that game, it was getting close. You pulled Bug off the bench, threw her back in there, and said, this is your team, win this basketball game. In more, more or less, that's what you said. How confident are you with this girl right now? Oh, I'm, I have complete confidence in Bug Cooper. 
And, you know, she got a little frustrated at OBU. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but, you know, Gabby Coleman was Gardner, fa um, face Gardner. Yep. She's going to face the same thing throughout the conference, and that, that's great. That, I, I hope so because that's opening up some, something else for someone. And, you know, I mean, she's just she's got to understand people are going to go in the game scouting her and try to keep your, your, your best point guard out of, out of the, the flow of things. Bug Cooper, winning basketball games, whether it's with the pass or the points. We'll talk more about her, Veronica Walker, and the rest of the Lady States when we return on the Statesman Insider.